and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We're so glad that you could be here for today's uh, devotion, the daily devotion, where we take some time to look at the Word of God and see how, I can, how we can apply it in our lives. And today, we are going to look at um, another verse which, uh, uh, which focuses on what was spoken by the Lord on the cross. And this is from the book of Luke, chapter 23. And we're going to look at um, uh, verses 30, um, 39 onwards. It says, Then one of the criminals who were hanged blasphemed him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Do you not even fear God, seeing that you are under the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. So we see several things here. We see this conversation that is happening between the criminals on the cross. You know, they are also undergoing great pain and they, it is, they are facing certain death at the end of this ordeal. And they have this conversation between themselves. One man, one criminal, he starts to blaspheme. God saying, um, he, is, he starts to say, if you are the Christ, if you are indeed the Christ, the anointed one, the Messiah, save yourself and you save us. So this other criminal rebukes the man uh, who is on the cross and he's saying, don't you even fear God. We are under the same condemnation. We, have, we are undergoing this punishment because we deserve it. But this man has done nothing wrong. So probably he had followed, he had heard about the life of the Lord Jesus and uh, maybe witnessed certain things. We do not know, but he came to this conclusion and he said, he has done nothing wrong. And then he does something else. He turns to the Lord Jesus and he asks the Lord, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And the Lord's uh, response to that is this. He says, assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. So something that we learn here is about repentance and the assurance of repentance. So what we learn is that it's never too late to repent. Many times we, we know that we are doing wrong. We know that we have willfully gone against the Lord and uh, we keep on doing what we are doing, thinking that I'm too far gone. But we hear, when we, we, when, we, when we read through this, we see that it is never too late. You are never too far gone to change. We are ne it's never too late to change, to repent. And it is never too wrong to set right. Nothing is too wrong that it cannot be set right. Because at that instant, the Lord Jesus immediately he said, Today you will be with me in paradise. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 25 says this, Therefore he is able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. So today be encouraged. He is able to save to the uttermost those who come to God through Him. So let's take this time to, to look into our own lives. Are there things in our lives that need change, that need repentance? We don't have to stay away from God. We don't have to think, have I done something which is too bad, too wrong, that He cannot set right. Yes, He can and yes, He will. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank You even as we have read through Your Word. We see that, Lord, it is never too late to change. It's never too late to repent. And Lord, you are able to save to the uttermost those who come to you. And Lord, today we pray, God, if there are, if, if there are people who are listening, Lord, those of us who are listening, who feel that they've gone too, too far and too far away from you, Lord, I pray Lord, that you will give them the grace and show them the mercy even as they turn towards you, God. Yes, Father God, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your forgiveness. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.